our training was comprised of four departments OBD, IBD, IV and compounding The atmosphere in these departments with healthcare providers was great and every single mess we learn something from them about communication skills with healthcare providers and patients also the medical and clinical information we did variety of activities in these four departments under supervision of Dr. Said, Dr. Samer, Dr. Yusuf, and Dr. Nar supervisors. Our activities in outpatient department were printing of serial numbers that given to patients who wait until they receive the dispensed medication later, taking patient information which are the record number, the name, and comments about medication, situation, or problem, this information then submitted to pharmacist to screen us. The screening is the pharmacist checking of drug interaction, duplication therapy, dosage, dispensing authority, side effects, and therapy duration of the patients. The refilling of the main shelf and the roller shelf. Sending an order for medication preparing for special patients from compounding or IV departments by telepharmacy. Preparing of medication prescription. Refreshing, which is basically five minutes presentation about drug, situation, parameter, experience, or viewpoint in front of the pharmacist, technicians, intern, and trainer students. We discussed about absolute neutrophil count and the bigatran antidote. Consultation of the patients about the frequency and adherence of the therapy, also why, how, and when they take it, as well as answering about any concerns of the patients. Discussion with pharmacists about the workflow, medications, conditions, and published papers. Checking of the near expiry date of medication. Sending an order into the main store by MMS program for medication needs. Double checking of drug interaction, duplication therapy, dosage, and labels and prescriptions after pharmacy screening or technician preparing. We double checked about 150 prescription, which three duplication therapy were detected ibuprofen with lorexicam, valzartan with erbizartan, and brigabaline with levitriastan. Our activities in IBT were preparing the order medication that we received it from the pharmacist. However, there are some medication required as specific labels, such as high alert, protect from lice, keep in a fridge, and check all before use. Refilling of the shelves from main storage once a week. Using aluminum foil to cover the vial for protection from light such as cyberfluxacin vial. Provision of the order to the nurse after the double check from the pharmacist. Checking the omnicil medications and refill it with a probable value of medications after ensure expiry dates. Our activities in IV admixture departments were calculation of the required amount and percentage of dextrose and sodium chloride in sterile water for patients injection. Entering the IV room to preparation after dress the sterile gown, face mask, hair cover shoe cover and gloves in buffer room to protect the substances from particles. Labeling the prepared medication with extra labels such as keep in fridge and don't freeze before providing it to the nurse. Our activities in compounding departments were receiving the orders by telepharmacy from hospital departments for preparing medication. Creation of medication for specific populations such as pediatric and geriatrics by following the instructions of preparation in hospital formulary. Calculation the amount required that should be added to the compound medication.
printing a specific label for each patient, preparation of certain amount of syrup by euclid unit dose syrup to avoid wastage of medication, waiting the required amount that will added to the compound medication. Our assignments were about workflow of OBD and IBD, medication list of IV, OBD, and IBD, omnicid processes, peers list, and infographic poster or video for patient education in Arabic language. We did video about teribartite injection and infographic poster about salbutamol inhaler. After each assignment, we meet the doctor and discussed about them. Finally, we did a presentation about medication which is Braxpind, Idarosuzumab, the antidote of Debigetran.